Hi friends, so it's story time again, and I decided to choose another Mr. Putter and Tabby book. I know that Miss Karen likes them. <laughs> this one is called Mr. Putter and Tabby Spin the Yarn. Chapter one is called The Good Neighbors. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby live next door to Mrs. Teaberry and her good dog Zeke. There's Tabby up there, there's Zeke. Mr. Putter liked Mrs. Teaberry. She was a good neighbor. She's got a snowblower and he's got a shovel. She made chocolate crunchies and shared them with him. She made raspberry roll-ups and shared those. She made brown sugar bonbons and shared those too. She was a very good neighbor. This one says, for Mr. Putter and Tabby. This one says, these are the yummiest. And this one says, just says, happy Wednesday. Sometimes Mr. Putter was not sure if he was a good neighbor. All he did was eat Mrs. Teaberry's food. All I do is eat Mrs. Teaberry's food, Mr. Putter told Tabby one day. I should do something nice for her. It happened that Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke stopped by later that day. They had just returned from the yarn shop. I am starting a knitting club, said Mrs. Teaberry. We're going to meet at my house and knit. How nice, said Mr. Putter. Would you like to join, asked Mrs. Teaberry. No, thank you, said Mr. Putter, removing a shoe from Zeke's mouth. Suddenly, Mr. Putter had an idea. Why don't I serve tea to your club, he said. You can knit and I can pour. How nice, said Mrs. Teaberry. Can you stop in tomorrow at two, she asked. Will do, said Mr. Putter, removing a glove from Zeke's mouth. Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke went home. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby. We are going to be good neighbors, he said. Tabby purred and purred. The club. The next day at two, Mr. Putter and Tabby went next door to Mrs. Teaberry's house. There were a lot of ladies there. They were knitting madly and talking loudly. This one's button says, I'm a knit wit. Tabby looked at all the needles and all the threads and all the big balls of yarn. Her teeth began to chatter. Chat, 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 went Tabby's teeth. This sometimes happened when Tabby was excited. She looked at the big balls of yarn spinning. Chat, 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 chat. Mr. Putter petted her to calm her down, but there were about 50 pounds of yarn in the room. Petting wasn't helping. Everyone said a cheery hello to Mr. Putter and Tabby. Where's Zeke? asked Mr. Putter. I closed him in the kitchen, said Mrs. Teaberry. He was bothering Gertrude's hat. Gertrude was wearing a hat with lots of fake vegetables on it. He kept stealing the potatoes, said Mrs. Teaberry. Tabby and I shall keep him company, said Mr. Putter. Thank you, said Mrs. Teaberry. You are a good neighbor. That is just what Mr. Ta Putter wanted to hear. The fun starts. In the kitchen, Zeke had found a bag of popcorn, a loaf of bread, and some marshmallows. He also had a fake potato. Oh dear, said Mr. Putter. He cleaned up the mess. He helped Zeke unstick a marshmallow from his teeth. Then Mr. Putter made tea. He fixed a nice big tray with a teapot and tea cozy. He put sugar cubes and cream on the tray and he filled a big bowl with chocolate bridge mix. Zeke and Tabby were very interested. Hmm, said Mr. Putter. He poured some cream in a bowl for them to share. Tabby purred and Zeke wagged. It was time to serve tea. If you're a good dog, Zeke, said Mr. Putter, you can help. Zeke wagged again. Mr. Putter opened the kitchen door, and that's when the fun started. One less potato. Zeke went straight for the hat. Eek! screamed Gertrude. Zeke flew through the house with a big plastic potato in his mouth. Tabby chattered herself into a frenzy. Then she went straight for the nearest ball of yarn, which happened to be connected to a sweater. Mrs. Fitzwater had been knitting for seven months. Tabby flew through the house with the yarn in her mouth. As Mr. Putter stood in the doorway with his lovely tray of tea, Mrs. Fitzwater's sweater got smaller and smaller and smaller. Then it disappeared. Oh, no. When the excitement was gone, Tabby and Zeke were long gone, and the room had one less potato and no sweater. Uh-oh. She's mad and she's sad. Mr. Putter looked at the knitting club. He put on his best smile. One lump or two, ladies, he asked. At first, Gertrude and Mrs. Fitzwater were too grumpy for tea, but Mr. Putter charmed them. He told Gertrude she had perfect taste in hats. He told Mrs. Fitzwater she was a model of goodness to cats. He gave them extra bridge mix. He poured them lots of tea. 
Mrs. P T. Berry stopped saying, oh dear, and the knitting club had a wonderful visit with Mr. Putter. By the time the tea was over, Mr. Gertrude had promised to take Mr. Putter, make Mr. Putter his own vegetable hat, and Mrs. Fitzwater had promised him a sweater. When Tabby and Zeke finally came back, looking as if someone had knitted them, everyone just laughed. <laughs> Mrs. Dewberry was so happy when the knitting club went home. She thanked Mr. Putter. You saved the day, she said. Yes, said Mr. Putter, but now I have to wear a vegetable hat. Oh, don't worry, said Mrs. Teaberry. Zeke will take care of that. 